Today we're going to make a Southwestern acorn squash dish. This is a budget-friendly, easy dish to make. You can make it during the week after a busy work day. Um, so we have our acorn squash right here. I cut this in half already. We're gonna go ahead and remove the seeds. Okay, so let's go over our ingredients before we get started with the recipe. So we have our acorn squash, which is a great source of beta carotene, vitamin C. It's also a great source of fiber. We have our black beans, great source of fiber and protein. We have our red onion, our red pepper, and our tomatoes. We're gonna garnish this with, honestly, you can garnish it with whatever you want. Today we're gonna use a little bit of cheese and we may even put a little avocado on top. So to get started, we're gonna preheat the oven to 375. I'm gonna put a little coconut oil. Uh, you can use avocado oil or olive oil if you want, just to kind of rub right on top of the squash. So we are going to put this cut side down. We're gonna get it in the oven for about 45 minutes, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so now we're going to make the filling for the acorn squash. I'm gonna turn the fire on. We're gonna add a little oil and over medium heat, we're gonna start sauteing the onions and the red pepper. We're gonna use white rice today for the filling, but you can use brown rice. You can also use quinoa. Uh, you can use any grain of choice. And if you don't wanna use a grain, you can absolutely leave the grain out and just keep it as is. Okay, we're gonna put our onion in the pan. We're gonna put our red pepper in as well with the onion. We're gonna give this a little stir. If you wanna make this meal during the week, what I would suggest you do is probably pre-cook the acorn squash because it does take about 45 minutes to cook. That way when you get home from work or your busy day, you can just stuff the acorn squash and just put it in the oven to kind of warm up. So we're gonna cook the onions and the peppers until they are soft, probably about five minutes. And while those are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and chop some tomatoes in half. We're gonna do about one cup. You can cut them in half lengthwise if you'd like. You can mix it up. You can even quarter them if you'd like as well. Depending on how big your grape tomatoes are, you can also use cherry tomatoes. All right, we have about a cup right here. I'm gonna set this aside. We'll give this a little stir. All right, we have about one more minute and then we'll go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients. Right now I'm going to add a little cumin and a little chili. Give this a quick mix. We're gonna add our black beans in right now and our tomatoes. The tomatoes will start to release some of their water. So we're gonna let these cook for about five minutes once everything's in the pan together. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. I think that tomatoes and black beans and red peppers have all kind of cooked together and we're ready to add our rice in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire off. 
We're gonna add about a cup of rice right in here. And once again, you can use quinoa, you can use brown rice. You can, use, you can add some nuts in here. So you don't need to use a white rice. Okay, we'll do about a cup. Gonna mix this in. So what I love about this dish, in addition to it being budget friendly and pretty quick, minus the acorn squash, is that you can have a great combination of protein, carbs, and fats. You would just have to add a little avocado on top and then you have your, your protein in the beans, your carbs in the beans, and then your fats would be in the avocado. Okay. It's been about 45 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and take the acorn squash out. So if we wanna check for doneness, we can go ahead and just stick a little knife in. If it goes in nice and easy, the acorn squash is ready. You don't want it to be overcooked, so we're just gonna flip these over and we're gonna go ahead and stuff them. We're gonna sprinkle this with a little cheese on top and then get it in the oven for probably about five minutes or until the cheese has melted. So now we're just gonna wait about five minutes and we'll be ready to eat. So we are all done. We have our Southwestern acorn squash.